Well, I mean, I kind of walked into the chemistry. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, D-line kind of translates across the league where, you know, personalities are, are very similar, uh, you know, and it's usually one of the more outspoken, uh, jovial crowds. And uh, it's no different here. And, uh, so, you know, so I feel, you know, right at home, you know, being with these guys. And, and uh, you know, just because they are so, you know, uh, jovial and, you know, uh, you know, always messing around but always working hard, um, you know, I, I seem to fit right in. So it's, uh, it's a good group to be around. You hit the key word there. It does seem like you guys are having fun. But also, when people put their hand on the ground, real focused, a lot of work done. Yeah. Uh, you know, and th that's what's really, you know, to be respected about this group. And, you know, I noticed it, on, you know, from day one. You know, all the guys, you know, kind of keep everybody in line and everybody in check with uh, just their hard work. You know, not even words, but just their effort. And so uh, it's respectable and it's something I'm glad to be a part of. What's the most challenging part of being a free agent coming into a new locker room, a new situation? Um, there's a few challenges, um, you know, and it's, you know, it's kind of, you know, finding your niche and, you know, finding uh, what you can provide for the team um, as a person and a player. And, uh, you know, because you come in and you, you got have, you feel and you are a veteran, but then, you know, there's other guys that have been here for a considerable amount of time. There's other guys that have been other places that come here for, you know, they've been other places a considerable amount of time. And, you know, when you come in, you have guys like San and guys like Chris Clemens and, you know, guys that have been in the league for a while. And, you know, and San, who's been with this team for a little bit, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's it's definitely a transition, you know, coming from one of being one of the, the, the mainstays in Miami to here. It's, uh, it's, it's a transition, you know, you have to be able to find, uh, you know, find the, uh, your space and your place and your time to speak up and then to sit back and also to, uh, you know, you're still learning a lot, you know. So the thing is, is that there's this, it's a whirlwind of uh, all these things coming at you, but that's part of being a professional. And, uh, you know, I was definitely looking forward to the challenge of, uh, you know, the personal challenge of, uh, you know, getting to know new people and new friends, but then also on the field. Gus talks all the time about improvement and getting better and focused on that. How do you measure growth day to day, improvement day to day in training camp, which can seem to last a long time? Well, you know, uh, there's a saying around here, you know, it's with, uh, with struggle comes progress. Uh, and, uh, you know, today I got a little upset out there. And, you know, and when I don't get upset, I get a little worried. You know, so the thing is, is that uh, definitely I got better today, and I think we got better today as a group. But um, you know, I, I guess I measure that, you know, just by the amount of reps that I take and and um, and learning from my prior mistakes the day before. You know, as long as I'm not making the same mistakes as I did the day before, then you know, uh, I'd like to consider that progress.